Hello everybody, we will be starting our story of Ganesha today. Uh, so let's see kids, what is the story of Ganesha? So Ganesha's mother was goddess Parvati and his father was god Shiva. One day not long before Ganesha was born, father Shiva went on a journey. You can see them, but Parvati and Shiva. Uh, leaving Parvati at home, Shiva was away for many years and during that time Ganesha grew from baby to a young man. On spring morning Ganesha was outside when he saw a stranger with long matted hair wearing animal uh, skin just like this with neck wriggling about him. The stranger wanted to come into the house. He looked frightened and dangerous. Ganesha stood in front of him and tried to stop him because he wanted to protect his mother. What Ganesha did not know was what the stranger was his father Shiva. Shiva did not know the boy was his son Ganesha. Shiva is known as a quick-tempered god and he did not like anyone standing in his way. So he took his sword and cut off the head of Ganesh. So at that moment Parvati came out to see her husband and a sword in his hand and her son lying on the ground. What have you done? What have you done? She cried. You have killed our son, Shiva, truly sorry. Promise to make things right again by replacing Ganesha's head with the head of first thing creature he saw. He searched for many miles. What animal do you know he saw? The first creature he saw was a baby elephant. And that's why Ganesha had a head of an elephant and body of a man. He was a rather chubby body too because he is said to like eating sweet things. See, this is Ganesha. So basically, you can see this. Hindus celebrate birth of Ganesha in many places. They make special images of Ganesha and pray them. They offer him sweet pudding because they know he likes sweet things. They let a firework. They make huge images of him and take them on possession. Ganesha is known for his beautiful handwriting and good spelling. If you see a picture of him, we'll see he is holding one um, his own task dip, dipped in eye in one hand and scroll of paper in other. It is said that one of the longest poem in the world telling one of the most important stories of Hindus, the Mahabharata, was dictated to Ganesh and that he used the pointed end of his task dip in the ink to write down the words. Most importantly, Hindus prayer to Ganesh before they start anything new like getting married, moving home, house, starting a journey taking an exam. His image is sometimes placed where new houses are to be built. Hindus believe Ganesh is the remover of the obstacle and he helps with problems or difficulties that get in the way. So Hindus praise Ganesh because they believe he is wise and he helps the beginning of a new project or when they start new thing. There are new things that might happening in our life soon. You will be getting into new classes at school. So you can, you know, anything that starting something new, you are scared, excited, what will happen, isn't it? So anyway, so basically when uh, something do, you have to talk with someone in that kind of carefully and you can ask God to help. So this is the way we know about Ganesha today. Okay, so thank you for listening about Ganesha. Bye bye, stay safe. Jai Ganesha.